We made a commitment at the beginning of the project to be a Melvin contender. We planned for it, we stuck to it, we followed the plan that we made. We'd have a plan of next day meeting with all the you know, superintendents, foremen, and plan what was coming the next day. Getting up every morning and wanting to come to work uh, was, was a huge plus for me. Everybody had a voice, everybody had input, and you know problems would come up and we'd figure it out as a team. These teams come together pretty quick. We've got people coming in from all, you know, all corners of the, of the country. It takes all of us from every region to complete these jobs, even when they're in our own backyard. We had a, a transfer of ownership right in the middle of this job, and that was extremely critical um, for the team to be able to accommodate that. A lot of opportunities that we haven't done self-perform on before on any project, uh, this was the project. And the whole craft training program that we, we worked on there was kind of a, a pilot, so that was great. It wasn't just about training the people for our job, it was about making the training program available so that it could be shared as we've all left. Everyone's left this job and gone to about 15 other projects. Mark would do, he would do barbecues every week for those, for that crew. Take the barbecue out there. And right out in the field. And right out in the field and, you know, celebrate those guys. Anybody tell me what it comes down to when we have a tiebreaker? That's right. And that's why this year it went to Sunstreams. We talked about it every day. We talked about it at the beginning of the job. We're gonna run this whole job, not hurt anybody, and we're gonna, we're gonna bring this thing home with zero. You came together as a team. You took all of our initiatives and you took our mission statement and you made it a reality and a model for what we want going forward. You're incredible. You're setting a standard for our company and you made it look easy. Yeah.